I've said it before, and it's pretty well known that the first few minutes of a game are extremely vital to creating a lasting impression on the audience. Games gotta have a good hook. Tomb Raider 1996 is a classic example of this. The action-adventure genre was pretty well established by 1996, so Tomb Raider had to make its mark in a genre that had many other good titles in it already. One advantage for Tomb Raider was the technical aspects available at the time. 3D games were fairly new in the 90s. Advancements in 3D games weren't solely due to a single title like Tomb Raider. It was the culmination of many great games. Tomb Raider happened to be one of those games, pushing the limits at the time and made a huge wave in the action-adventure genre because of it. Tomb Raider was this amazing culmination of various parts. Platforming, puzzles, action, atmosphere, and exploration exploration, all enhanced by the swashbuckling heroine Lara Croft. The first map in Tomb Raider, Caves, is near close to perfection in showcasing all of this game's strengths in an easy way for the player to learn the game's mechanics in a satisfying manner. Welcome to Map Analysis. I'm the Percurrent Gamer, and in this episode, we'll be covering the first level in the original Tomb Raider, Caves. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see more amazing content on old school gaming titles. Now let's get started. The star of Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, went through many iterations before the game's initial release in 1996. One of the original ideas was to have a male lead heavily inspired by Indiana Jones. Though the inspiration for a swashbuckling adventurous type stuck, it was decided to go with a female lead. Enter the daring Lara Croft. Like the first few minutes of Raiders of the Lost Ark defines Indiana Jones as this adventurous daring hero type, Tomb Raider does the same for Lara Croft. And it was done right because she has become one of the most well-known heroines since her conception. Silently, she climbs an ice ruin as her guide waits below. Demonstrating her knowledge, she immediately knows how to open the ancient gate. When ravenous wolves attack, she doesn't hesitate, leaping from the structure to save her defenseless guide. Saddened, she realizes she's too late, but that doesn't stop her from moving forward and she gives a shrewd stare into the mouth of the cave. Without a single word, we know pretty much everything we need to know about Lara Croft. She's knowledgeable, daring, brave. She also has compassion for innocents and doesn't want to see them hurt. The action in Tomb Raider comes in two parts. The first part is the action achieved through avoiding the tricks and traps. Right from the start, traps show up. In this scenario, it starts shooting from the walls. This is an easy little training sequence that teaches the player about the game without being punishing. Tomb Raider is full of tricks and traps. So be careful. Quickly thereafter, the game moves the player into a simple platforming section of climbing a few walls. Again, another simple task to ease the player into the game's mechanic. Seconds after that, a few bats appear that shows the second part of the game's action, the enemies. This gets the player to use their weapons for the first time. At this point in the game, nothing is punishing or hard. These tasks are there to ease the player into the game's mechanics and showcase what the game is about. It's a world full of platforming, traps, and enemies. All of which are going to keep the player on their toes. The level then proceeds and opens up a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. A few extra hallways and a few easy to find secrets. The design of these sections teaches the player one more thing about the game. Exploration. These short hallways with easy to find secrets highlight to the player that they're going to have to search around to find out where to go. And oftentimes there will be benefits to searching around, so don't just run through the levels. Take your time to investigate stuff and it'll be worth it. The player runs through a few more areas and sees a few larger enemies to further their skills in combat and movement until they arrive to the game's first big jump. This is an amazing jump because it does two things. One, it allows the player to practice jumping without immediate death looming over them. At the same time, it shows the player the importance of being cautious. If the player fails the jump, and most first-timers will, they're rewarded with a very scary bear sequence that can make people jump even to this day. The bear surprise is used to build up the atmosphere of the game. Tomb Raider has an amazing atmosphere. It's not a horror game in any way or shape, but it uses suspense like a horror game to make this tense atmosphere that holds throughout each level in the game. 
As a result of this atmosphere, Tomb Raider has some of the scariest sequences in gaming, even though it's not categorized as a scary game per se. Beyond the bear, we get our first real puzzle, a simple pull the lever to get through the door situation. The level once more trains the player what to expect in this game via this simplistic puzzle. Obstacles aren't always in the form of enemies and traps. Next, we get to see a short environmental interaction with the crumbling floors. Without punishing the player, the developers showcase the different ways the environment can interact with the player, foreshadowing of what's to come. Then we enter the last area. There's an enemy and another puzzle of the same nature as the first, but just a little bit harder. Then the level concludes. In a level that can take only 6 minutes, we see just about everything we need to know about Tomb Raider. It features the platforming, puzzles, action, atmosphere, and exploration in a non-punishing way that teaches the player what to expect in the game without a boring tutorial or hand-holding. Caves is map design in its greatest form, close to flawless level design that teaches the player in a fun, engaging way everything they need to know about Tomb Raider and its heroine Lara Croft. Caves begins a powerhouse action adventure series in an amazing way. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see more amazing content. Also, leave a comment. Do you have a game with a favorite first level? Finally, check out some of my other content by clicking on one of the videos to the right. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.